Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how I, how I install this water heater. I'm not a professional, I just do it for myself, uh, learning on YouTube and previous experiences. So, uh, these are the steps to follow. You get a utility knife, cut along the line here. Star Wars. Way, so you should put always the dolly in the back. Okay, so now that we have the water heater close to where we're gonna put it, we need to read this, it's very important. As it says here, read me first, quick star guy. This is a very, very important step. Never mind. All right, so now we're gonna install this, but before starting the water heater, I got a new uh, gas connector. This is stainless steel, it's coated anti-rust. Because the one that I have there, it looks okay. But to be safe, I will just change it, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do now. So for this step, I don't need to tell you instructions, it's common sense. You don't need me to show you how to put this in the gas and how it just, just connects here, That's like a hose. So I don't think you actually need to see this. I forgot to tell you too, when you use, uh, when you cut gas, natural gas, you don't use this type of, I don't know what they call, like a sealant. You have to use this one that is designed specifically for gas, as you can see right here. And actually, we'll tell you uh, on the uh, bag what to use. You need to use soap and water to make sure that the uh, gas is not leaking. And uh, Stilson or uh, adjustable wrenches. Okay, so now that I installed the gas. Holes. I'm gonna put the heater inside the box and I'm gonna start the installation.
Okay, so all the way inside. Make sure it's stable. Right here is rocking a little bit. So, let's see. Installation. First, I guess I'm gonna do the water because I don't know if you can see, but it's leaking a little bit because all of the other valves, the main valve is open. So this is the gas. That's where it goes. These are the, those are the safety strap, earthquake straps. There will go one here and another one here. And I just need to attach, attach this to this. And I'm gonna put some of that, some of that thing. I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna try to record here, but I don't think the camera, the tripod that I have, can reach that high. No, I don't think so. So I'm gonna try to do it with one hand and see if I can do it. So grab this. And you do the same with the other one. So now all you need to do is just screw these ones. Uh, fortunately, my battery died, so I'm recording with my phone and I don't have a lot of storage on my phone. So I'm just gonna record little instructions and I'll try to finish the video. So I'm just gonna tie these two and I, I'll continue the video. So now that I, ha that I have these ones uh, put in, I just need to connect the uh, gas holes make sure that these are not leaking well this one was leaking from the beginning so it's water from from the one that it was leaking before so far they look okay i haven't opened the water yet but i want to install the gas first before uh, releasing the water make sure that the gas has no leaks and everything is running fine so next step is to just install this So next step is just to install these holes in here. Natural gas only. So this is what it is. This sticker is saying. So it goes right here. So I'm gonna remove this one because this one is too big. Sorry. And this one. Oh no, it is. Actually this one goes in here. So this one goes here but i'm gonna put first the teflon uh, this teflon again the one that is for gas okay so first i want to install this one tie it with the adjustable wrench but not too tight because this one is a screw in here so if you do it too hard this one might break okay so now we install this one here
gonna have to use both hands. Because now that I have these two tight, I'm gonna use my my secret weapon but first let me release the gas <laughs> I release the bottle gases on the back now the secret weapon this is my secret weapon soap and water this is the what I use for the pomegranate bags you can use you can use this to get rid of the not rid of it but try to control the footed uh, bags so you just spray it here make sure no bubbles coming out same thing in the back forgot to do it earlier but let me check so i'm back with my camera i just charged it for a few minutes to end up the, to finish the video so i'm just gonna release the water open the water valve and it's going so it's filling up while it's, while it's filling up i just, just gonna put the cup that goes here and then i'm gonna try to start the uh, flame so this is very simple very easy i'm pretty sure if you see it i'll show you when it's done so because i don't know if i'm gonna have enough battery okay so this one is newer because the only one it had only red and now it's blue and red I'm gonna do it really quick because of the battery again. So what you do, you put it on pilot, you press, and press the igniter until blue light starts. It shows off when the blinker starts. Okay, so it took about a minute more just of holding the pilot and pressing the igniter. And now I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna release this one. You can see a blue light coming out of the status. So once the blue light is on, oops, sorry. So once the blue light is on, you can turn it into vacation well, that means you go away low hot abc and very very hot usually have it eh, around hot just a little bit lower than hot because it gets really really hot and that's it now you own, only thing you have to do is install the straps which they just go on the sides it goes around and it goes screw on the on the back Okay, so now it has the straps all safe, running. I can hear the water, not the water, the gas running through and I think it's gonna be good for at least, let me see, at least what, nine years. All right, that's it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please, don't hesitate to leave them on, uh, underneath in the comments. And again, I'm not a professional. This is just me doing it. So please, if you have any suggestion or should I change something, let me know. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day and God bless.